So another important topic that one has to understand before getting into the run, see and shim process is something called pseudo terminals. So what are pseudo terminals? You remember in the past there used to be a single Unix server machine and there used to be multiple people connected to those server machines through independent terminals and all the terminal had has, was a keyboard and not even a mouse. So those terminals had no processing power. Everything used to be taken to the to the server machine and the server machine used to do all the data crunching and the computation task. Now those physical terminal machines have lately been replaced with something called pseudo terminals in the Unix system. Now pseudo terminals have something called a master here and a slave. So each pseudo terminal that you open in a Unix system is identified by its ID called slash dev slash pts slash zero or slash dev slash pts slash one. So you know, but the point to ponder or point to remember here is there is a single master. So there is a single master which is multiplexing the inputs from the different programs that are running on that particular Unix machine and based on which program is connected to which pseudo terminal it passes the input to the slave and that slave does the rendering on the on the device so so PTO master is basically a multiplexer so that's why you know we say it a multiplexer let's get into the system and see how it actually happens now this terminal that you see here is, is a pseudo terminal now this is an emulation of the old days physical terminals and what I do is you know let me exit this for the time being and let's say let me list the contents of slash dash slash pts and you can see that the there's a ptmx which is the master and there's a zero in the slash dash slash pts folder which is the slave and that zero that slave actually represents the this terminal that you're currently seeing on the screen if I launch a new terminal from my window here now let if I list slash dev slash pts from this location what you see is you know, now the number has gone up so to one we'll do a listing here itself and see yeah it has become one now so what has, has happened here is we have created as we started a new window and that new window has its own independent slave called one slash dev slash pts slash one so that slave is represented by that and you can see that you know by typing the ttv command it tells you which slave that particular terminal is associated with so this ptmx is the master and this master is controlling this this slave as well as this slave thank you for listening